the principal things that have influenced my poetry over the year are many. Uh, the first one is the inspiration. I see something, I feel something, and it through me wants to express itself in some form. Uh, music, words, sometime maybe painting, but the thing that seems to be the most dominant with me has been images and words expressing feelings. The way it's evolved is that the more it, it, I open up to it, the more I want it to be truthful. Instead of writing like to please someone or for an effect, I want the images and the words to convey something that I feel is, is a truthful or as close as I can get to being honest. And uh, hopefully through that realization there will be some transformation and people will become aware of something and I will become aware of something. So there's movement in the poem. Poetry is the best fit when it, when it clicks within you. Uh, poetry you can just do alone. You could get a rhythm going, boom, boom, boom. A poem could come as a rhythm, as a wave, as a feeling, and it, it propels itself into the unknown. You don't even know where you're going with it. And if you try and direct it too much, from my experience, it's better to let it take its way, and then later maybe you can craft it and mold it. But let it come out in its pure, original, energetic form and be sensitive to be receptive to the, the changes that will occur within you. Poetry, in its highest form to me, is not anything you write that rhymes or that has a poetic flow, but poetry in its best form to me is something that elevates human consciousness and the race, that inspires, that asks the question and opens up possibilities of the answers of what, why that I am alive. It's a dazzling, brilliant, incredible experience just to taste life, to experience it. And the poetry should be life-affirming and bring out the richness and the best in all of us. Even when addressing a serious issue or a depression, get to the meat of it. What is it? What is it that holds you back? Do you want to stay with it or do you want to move on? The Galactic Symphony Number 1, A Tale of Man. Never before in galactic span has been told the tale of man. It defies all bound, defies all space, upsets all theories, and in their place puts wisdom of the ancient race. Stories of creation thrown, of man who left his home from stars among the universe and found the earth alone, void of purpose, without form, cold, barren, uniform. No room to differentiate choice from predetermined fate and save the world before it is too late. For mankind, since time has opened up its book for a solution to problems and savagery and terrorism looks, and each age has the answer, and each age the road will pave, and all our undaunted saviors lead us to that same grave. So where can we find salvation? Can we discern from the movement of the tree within the quake the presence or the power through which earthly things take shape? Can we know from the pull of the planet and the stars the life within the atom, the life we know is ours? Did man in his greatest age through every prophet and every sage ever calm the unstoppable rage, the ruthless destruction, the war, the hate, the cheating, and the lies? Did anyone stop the horror through the earthly wise? Did anyone you know of teach the roses how to grow? Show the harmony to maple leaves? Teach the river's rhythmic flow? Or have you heard of any man of earthly fame claim to be the creator of his father's or his own name? Surely none can answer to the questions that we ask. Surely no mortal is equal to the task. Only something within, yet far beyond anything we see, could create beauty to make things beautiful, create music for man to write a symphony. The principle of music comes before music. The principle of art comes before art. The laws and harmonies are existent, yet man must hear them in his heart. For all our worldly knowledge, all libraries and our brains cannot in one instant heal all the world's pains. Love alone can heal. Love alone can mend. Love alone gives life meaning. Love alone 
gives life anticipation for greater time. Never before in galactic span has been told the tale of man. Divine love, grace, God, whatever you call it, if you don't believe in one, there is something within consciousness, within us, capable of restoring us, of healing us, of moving us, of helping us and moving forward to not only help ourselves, but to lift us out of self-centeredness and into a consciousness that embraces all beings. Now, I'm not there yet, but I see this as a possibility, a present possibility for mankind. And the road will be treacherous and it'll be ragged and rugged, but I think poetry that is lived and felt and acted upon could be one of the seeds to help usher in the, this new change and, and a new transformation of consciousness and thought if, if we really listen to it. If we give our poets the same power we do to our rock stars and our actors and recognize their value and their beauty and also to encourage the poet and every person to come forth and celebrate the soul and not make an artist above another, but an artist as one with another and one with the planet.